Alrighty, we have an awesome construction update for you guys today. Um, they are almost done that first Frontier Canada building going right next to the second drop out of the mid course break run. And a new building, a weird building, is being built underneath the helix before the final break run. Um, also, as you can see, the building over in Kingswood Theatre area is coming along nicely. It's definitely looking like a permanent structure for Halloween Haunt and their events venue for students and schools. Um, and the pathway where Orbiter was located looks like it's coming along really nicely as well. So lots going on in this footage. You're going to see Soaring Timbers testing, but I don't think anyone who's a fan of rides likes Soaring Timbers. Um, and not much else. Again, we won't be flying on weekends anymore as rides start testing. Um, just as, uh, you know, the rides that are on the border test, even though we're really far back here, the minute I see a ride testing, I'll fly further back. Um, but if you look closely, um, I do switch to a cloudy setting cause it, it ruins the color, but it gives you a better shot of, um, less oversaturation in the uh, video. So you'll be able to make out some of the wood features on some of the things a little better. So you're going to see it halfway through this video, switch colors. Um, and that's just to give you guys a better view. And then I got a zoomed in picture for you coming up as well. But as you can see in the distance, Soaring Timbers is testing. Um, Yukon Striker was not testing when I was flying today and the trains are not on the track. And that's probably because there's so much activity going in and around. So as you can see, there's an excavator in the turn out of the station. There's an excavator under the brake run. And there's uh, people building wooden structure underneath the helix. So too much activity to be testing, probably. That would be my guess. Um, other than that, there isn't too much going on Yukon Striker related. The building is coming along. The roofing uh, is looking a little more black up close. So the closer you look and the more you look at it, it looks like it's going to have like a black roof with some um, really intense dark wood as well along the sides which is going to look really nice. I'm actually starting to have really high hopes for the station. Um, I think it's going to look really nice. But as you can see, um, they're building what looks like walls. I originally thought it was teepees because from afar, all I could see was the wood coming out where the support columns were. But it actually looks like that is just to hold up the walls while they're being um, constructed. So as you can see there, there's the walls and you can see the, the framing holding them up temporarily until it's built. So I'm um, not sure what that's going to be. I was wrong about the building off to the left. I said that it looked like a restaurant, but now it looks like it's going to be a merch store or something. It looks like you can walk in and out in multiple areas. So it looks like your typical Cedar Fair kind of like store that you can walk in and out of. Or maybe it's just going to be something you can go in and look at things like to show the Yukon era. It could be anything like that. The building under the Helix looks a lot taller than that building. I have no idea what it's going to be. Um, it could be for the queue line itself. Um, absolutely couldn't even begin to predict what the buildings are going to be now that there's two of them. And uh, there probably will be more if it's anything like Copperhead Strike area, like Blue Ridge Junction or Knott's Berry Farms uh, themed area. I know they're going for areas like that at their parks, but just wanted to show you guys a quick construction update of what's going on in Frontier Canada um, and uh, Yukon Striker. So hopefully you enjoyed this really quick update. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy as I'm losing my voice. Awesome. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good weekend. Bye.